Hello everybody, John and my woodsman. Just got to camp. Adrian's starting to set his up. We got a, all the leaf litter raked way away from the fire pit. All the way over here, all the way around. We can do a little bit more <clears throat> once we get camp set up and get our tents and stuff. Then we'll have time to fiddle around with that. We got a little coat rack we put up here, a little clothesline to keep our stuff off the ground. Don't know how the ticks are going to be this year. So I'll get back with you within a minute and uh, check it out.
Yeah, that's all I usually do anyway, other than the one side. I only put one on the side. I don't do this side. A vestibule might come out, Adrian, and stick in the dirt. I mean, this is near what I'm used to. I think it will. I don't use it. Uh-uh. Just four corners. Four corners in this one here. Uh, put the rods through. Get out of here, right dude! There. Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> What'd I tell you, bro? <laughs> I looked down and... Yeah! Oh, shit, there it is! <laughs> Sorry, folks. Not gonna be on camera too much. I got my dentures getting realigned and I don't like the looks with no teeth. But you know what I just found? I've been looking all winter. Tearing my house up and down, all apart, like nuts. Yep, my spider code, Delica 4. Thank you, Lord. Got this from Fat Man, Chad. If you know Chad. I told Adrian yesterday, I said, you know what? Unless I just got left in my tent for some reason, Unbelievable. Another big shout out to Tim, big dog leather, he hooked me up, this leather sheath for my striker, I sharpened the edge on it better, so now it cuts cordage pretty good, and uh, thank you Nathan4071, I got this about 6-8 months ago, 
and I was wanting a sheath for it so I could wear it as a neck knife and she put a good edge on it and I had a lanyard laying around. Yeah, it's all good. Cool beans. Sweet. Alright, now for the funny part. This is where the crazy comments will come in. <laughs> what did you do? Got a beautiful camel job. got to be this seems got to be up here and that seems got to be up there at the corner as close as we can get them see that cross seam yeah that's got to ride pretty much right there That one, um, I used to tie off. Just the one side, because when I unzip it, it won't open up for me, so. Find this on the market. Here's my tarp boat, my tent, my rain fly. It went from yellow to you name it. Three different cans of camo, some dye, big old monster pot full of boiling, well not boiling water, 180 to 190 degrees, you can't have it boiling. Did that for about two hours, got rid of the yellow, and then uh, cut some patterns, found some cedar branches, and had three different colors of camel paint and kind of just me and Adrian just went nuts on it yesterday, day before. So, yeah. 
other than that, camp set. We're going to throw up our uh, ridge lines probably, but that's probably enough boring viewing for you. So we'll get back with you in a little bit. Hey everybody, looks like we got camp pretty well squared away. Got to get some firewood. We got found a spot back on the trail where there's a bunch of rocks. Get some rocks for the, for the fire pit. It calms down a little bit later tonight. We'll have a little fire. Do some cooking. Got my setup all done. Adrian's all hooked up. We hooked him up like that. It worked out pretty good, actually. Woodpecker in the background. Finally got the bushcraft buggy pretty much emptied and extra stuff, sacks. Got to go out and going to build us a table. Got a little clothesline hanger coats and stuff on until it starts getting cooler out. Sun finally popped out so it's nice out here. Yeah, the sun popped out. I had to take my sweatshirt off. I just leave my t-shirt on. It's beautiful, man. It must be, got to be knocking on 60. Well, that's a pretty cool tree over there. Well, something was chowing. There's a couple of them big woodpeckers, and you know when I can't think of the name of them, but uh, redheaded. Yeah, I don't know if they're the redheaded or they're, they're, they got a name for them, but yeah, you gotta definitely gotta leave their trees alone because that's their home. So if it's dead standing and it's got traces of woodpecker like that we just gotta you gotta leave that alone you can't that's their habitat but anyway yeah this is the top of the ridge where we like we're way off the path the, the trail is that way that tree line way over there is the trail so it's about between an eighth and a quarter mile from the main trail and then there's a little four-wheeler trail that we got across and so Yep, got everything set up, so we'll get something going on a little later. We got to go down and uh, collect some water. So from our last camp, it used to be down here, down at the bottom there. But the problem is deadfall. There's like three deadfalls right where we had our hammocks and tents. And everything else is uneven and just it's just no way to work out that way if I had a hammock it'd be different but I somebody's gonna have to teach me something because I got three of them and I can't seem to sleep in one I guess I got to get an under quilt and over quilt and that'd take the uh, struggle of getting in and out of the sleeping bag that was my biggest problem so but anyway it's a great day man nice breeze Ugh. Wish you guys were here. I appreciate you watching and swinging by and checking us out. And thanks to all my new subs. Thanks for all my diehard continuous subs that I've had for a long time. Uh, the giveaway's going good. I got 30 entries so far, VRs. So keep them coming, people. We're getting there. I'm uh, knocking on uh, about 40 away from. 2700 so we're getting there slowly but surely so thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on that so all right we're gonna get to work get down this cliff <laughs> get some water and get some wood to make us a table go collect some rocks and get some firewood so we got five good five hours of daylight left so plenty of time that's one advantage of getting out here early so all right folks take care we'll talk to you later have a good one
All right, well, we got a little bit of firewood gathered up. Got a few chunks buzzed up. Got the old pile of it over there. And we took the old bushcraft buggy up the hill a ways and got some rocks for the burn pit. That was handy, saved us about uh, six trips a piece. And we got our little our little uh, camp mess sitting here. With all of our pots getting ready for dinner. Making the coffee. Got the coffee press. Got the Lucy lights out. Got the Sawyer system draining down into my solo pot. Works out pretty nice that way. You don't have to mess with it. It holds more than a bag of water, so you just let it run until it's gone. You don't have this on your video. What's that? Teach people not no. to do that. Yeah, people, you gotta, you gotta wear gloves because you know, I tried teaching Adrian something today and he didn't listen. And look at his hands. I get a boo boo. He got a good boo boo. Let me tell you what. We had to put black tape on it to quit bleeding. He's That's playing with his new saw, and he got uh, yeah, he oh, got he got carried rough, away. Yeah. He was cutting these little cross notches in our poles. Uh huh. That's what happened. <coughs> yep. Uh, I did one. I had the gloves on. Yeah, he did the first one with gloves on. He did fine, but after that, no, nah, not so good. <laughs> But it's starting to cloud up a little bit. I'm just trying to teach people to not be an idiot like me. Yeah. That's what happens. That's what happens when you don't use gloves. <laughs> yeah, we went down to the creek to check out the area, and yeah, the widow makers are still up there, so that camp's pretty much out. But I really like this one, actually. I like this camp. It's nice on top of this hill, but yet it's still down from over there you can see that's actually a pretty good size hill and then another ravine over here so yeah it's kind of nice where we're at I really like this spot so maybe we'll get back with you when we get cooking something up here we gotta wait we can't have a fire it's too windy yet so we're gonna have to wait till a couple more hours at least till it starts getting dark we got a few more hours yet so we're probably gonna end up doing something on our stoves and yeah so well thanks for hanging around folks we'll get back to you a little bit later top of the morning to you folks yep it's that time nice bed of coals gotta have bacon yeah gotta have bacon good night stayed toasty warm in my setup, that's for sure. Man, I, Adrian was out here banging on a pot and wake me up at 9.30. So, camp's kind of a mess. A little distraught. Got stuff laying all over the place. There's a little bushcraft table, if you can see it, with all the junk on it. But that sure makes a makes a big difference for having places to put stuff I tell you but beautiful day the sun's shining oh yeah yep it's gonna be a beautiful day wish the wind would slow down a little bit but all right folks we're gonna get this uh Oh, yeah, it's starting to drip already. It's going to cook yeah. quick. Now this, we got some scrambled eggs. and Maybe we'll bring you back in a little bit. So, I'll talk to you in a little while. Challenge project here. This is for uh, Mitten State Bushcraft Facebook page. And uh, this month's challenge is make a chair, stool, something to sit on out in the wild with what you got, cordage basically. Um, a few tools and, uh, and that's about it so I'm gonna it's pretty simple 
you know, I already lashed the ones on the tree, obviously. I just kind of wadded something up there just to get it to hold. So let me get with the rest of it, and I'll show you how to do the rest of it. Basically just get some cheap cordage, some bank line or something like that. Yeah, that never works like you want it to. You really only need to do the bottom one. Thank you again, Brother Tim, for the awesome sheath for my neck knife. I've used it a bunch so far this weekend. You just need to do a couple wraps. I mean, it's just a chair. Something like that. Same sort of thing on this side. All you got to do that and there you go you got a chair see me in that Pretty simple. I had some materials laying around, but that's all it's to it. Now I got a seat. I could have spread these out further, build a little fire in front of me if I want. But about hunting, just out for the day. 
Mitten State Bushcraft yet? Go check them out. Tell them I sent you. Uh, it's a great community. You don't have to be just in Michigan to belong to it. And uh, a lot of knowledge, a lot of sharing. Pretty good community. So, with that, folks, that's about it for this little do it yourself, uh, somewhat of a Siberian woodsman chair. So, all right. Well, take care. We'll talk to you all later. Got a little bit of cooking action going on. Trying out my new porcelain pan the wife found at uh, Goodwill for like two bucks. So far, so good. It's working pretty good. We got some burgers we're going to uh, break up. And actually, I'm breaking them up a little bit as I cook them. See that? So we're going to break them up. We're going to put them on taco shells we're gonna have some cheese we got some mayo we got some uh, horseradish sauce yeah the good stuff <laughs> I got some mustard that's gonna be our late lunch and then later tonight we're going to uh, whoops sorry later tonight we're gonna uh, have some kibasa wrapped in bacon mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry I didn't get much more video. Just uh, having too much fun climbing up and down that hill hauling water. <laughs> but no, other than that, we really did have a good time so far. We still got one more night and part of tomorrow. And yeah, it's just beautiful out here, man. I love it. So, one of many stops we got this summer in plan. We found another. Another spot to go that's different than where we're at now. So, yeah, we're tuned to Zoom, man. We got like uh, probably six different wild camps total, plus the river. So, can't wait. Get some fishing done. Yeah. All right, folks, we'll get back. Maybe we get these made up. I'll give you a little shot of what we got. Alrighty folks, thought I'd bring you back. Check that out. This one's got mustard mayo and American's cheese. This one's got mustard and horseradish sauce and American cheese. And num 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 num. So I'm gonna have a little bite of this right here. Very good. Yep. Pretty darn, pretty darn good. So, we're going to get the chowing down. And, uh, yeah. Get some food in the belly. So, we'll get back with you later. We'll get a fire going or something. And uh, this wind is terrible this weekend. So, have been waiting until 9, 10 o'clock at night before we even get a fire. And then you hit the hay about midnight, 1 in the morning. Because you're whipped from the day from all your fun messing around stuff. So, We'll get back with you, folks. Hey, everybody, just taking a, a walk back here. There's about eh, 75 yards or so birch tree. I want to find some birch bark. If there's any dead dead birch on the ground, I want to take some birch bark. If not, I'm not going to bother. I don't want to mess up. A, I got birch bark at home, but I want to get something to send to somebody that don't have birch bark in their area. But uh, usually being swampy like this over here, that's all the crick's over there. But all the between here and the crick is pretty marshy. Here's like a yellow birch, maybe right here, Adrian. That's like a like a yellow birch. Yeah. Yeah, that's one too. We can stop on the way back. Yeah, so we just got done eating all that food, so 
food for your day. Take a little hike. Why not, right? Sorry for the camera. I'm trying to keep it as steady as I can. So I can record a little bit for you. So I know I haven't recorded a ton, but... Ooh, that was a good one. Got to be some fat water around here, Salisha. Pretty good size. Oh, Adrian's way up there. All right, I'll get back with you when I get caught up a little bit with Adrian. There's Adrian. Look at the size of that. Uprooted pine. It's all swampy. You see all the all the water and muck. That's a monster, man. Wow. Look at the size of that tree. Holy cats. All right, if I find anything else interesting, I'll let you know. Look at that, white gold, oh yeah, fall down right with along with that big pine. So I'm going to harvest me some birch bark, you don't see these too often just laying dead, can't hurt it now. So we'll get back with you. Well we lucked out on that big monster next to it. Got two big bags full of birch bark from that dead tree that was knocked over with that pine. <clears throat> Score. Yep. I know somebody that's gonna gonna like this. So alright. Let me know if uh if you don't have uh, birch bark in your area in the region that you're at, and I can take one of these bags and send you some. If I get more than one, I'll just throw your name in a hat and draw a number. So be fair to everybody. If they want some, I'll ship it. No worry. So, all right. Well, we're just making our way back to camp now, so we'll probably get back with you after we get up there. Well, here comes Adrian with a bucket with some water in it for the fire in the morning. It's a long way to go. Did our last water run. Got the Sawyer bags stacked up. Got used one or two of them up already, but plenty for in the morning. The camp action, all our junk collection. No fire yet. It's just it's just too windy. So, alrighty, we'll get back with you. Well, good morning, folks. Oh, it's cold on last night. Stayed toasty, but some things didn't, I guess. <laughs> some mini Sawyer thawing out. Had icicles hanging out of it. Water bag. This one here. This one 
here. Yeah, it got cold. But I stayed warm. Luckily, it was toasty in there. So, got some water boiling for the old coffee press. Gonna get us a cup of coffee, get Adrian out of bed over there. He's still sleeping or half sleeping or he just don't want to get out of his cocoon. Heck no, warm in here. <laughs> But my battery's about ready to die, so it's flashing, so I don't know how much I'm going to get. So, yeah, thanks for joining us, folks. It was a good day, good three days, good two and a half, three days, a couple nights. Had fun. So, appreciate you watching. Appreciate all your support. Yep, beautiful day. Now we got to pack up and head home. So, that folks, take care. Have a great day. Beautiful Sunday. Sun shining. It's up to 35 now, so it's warming up. So, take care. God bless.